So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video and today guys I bring you a complete guide on the 4 best current rune farm spots in this game. So if you want to level up fast, this video is for you. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this video consists of 4 legit working rune farms that will allow you to level up pretty fast. Uh, some of them are absolutely ridiculously fast within the game. Now, if you search YouTube for rune farms, most of the videos you see are the same old shite and from the same old creators spamming the same old dodgy websites where you go there and buy items and buy runes. That's basically the purpose of their video. Uh, but this one today, guys, is actual four legit spots, no spammy websites. You will earn great runes in doing this. Okay, so this one, the first one, takes place from the raw, raw, ancient ruins, East Grace. As you get here, guys, you need to come through Shadow Keep, make your way to the West Rampart Grace, come across the bridge here, you'll come to the Viaduct Manor, and basically, guys, just make your way around. It's not too difficult, to be honest. But hey, if you've got this grace unlocked, you are good to do this straight away. So yeah, this was sent to me on my Discord, and how it works is, you basically don't involve fighting. You go down here, you jump down here, guys, and you grab the attention of the fire golem on the other side of the bridge and he basically just run back up here guys stand here and what happens is he takes out all the enemies on the hill now i've got 131k runes on me i'm using the golden scarab and um, let's see how many i get i don't think it's that many to be honest so i'm getting i don't know about 18,000 per let's try it again 18,000 per run that's a you can probably do this twice every, no, three times every two minutes, I'd say. So it's not too bad. Well, um, I don't think it's anywhere near the best. Now, keep in mind, the video I saw, the guy was playing on like New Game Plus 7. So he's obviously going to be getting way more runes. Obviously, you get more runes per enemy uh, each time you go up on a New Game Plus. So that's probably why it looks like it's such a good farm. And me personally, I don't have time to ruin this game. 20 times over so i'm stayed on the first run playthrough i had so i'm getting about 18k uh, again this is with the golden scarab so new game plus one or two it's probably going to double up uh, as you go up it's going to be a little bit crazier yeah to be honest it isn't that great i'm not going to lie it's definitely faster right there and that's what we're going to show you right now another one if you could get him to trigger from here it'd be much quicker you have to seemingly jump down onto that, that, that bridge to get him to trigger, which is a bit of a pain, but hey. Okay, so next up, guys, we have another great room farm. I actually found this by mistake, and it takes place right over here within Fingerstone Hill. Now, to get here, guys, we firstly need to come down to Barney Village, which you get to by, so imagine the High Road Cross Grace, just after you defeat Relena. You come to this Grace, take uh, East, come down here, Come to Morph Ruins, you come down into the uh, Morph Ruins here, you end up at Bunny uh, Village. You want to come up to this point right here, guys. You'll grab a emote or a gesture called Old Mother. Then, guys, you want to make your way back to Shadow Keep. You then have to make your way to uh, the Shadow Keep back gate. This room here, there is a statue. You use that emote in front of the statue, it clears this path. Uh, you then come to Hinterland, make your way around, come to the Hinterland Bridge and then onto this spot right here, Fingerstone Hill. Okay, so I just actually died to see exactly how many runes I can get doing this. Uh, so basically from this grace point, guys, Fingerstone Hill, you can see there's plenty of enemies there. Now I'm naked because it makes you run faster, but from this point, you can literally just run, jump on your horse, run to the, literally this point, guys. And what you're going to see here is a ton of enemies. Now all of these are asleep. I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly how much you get per enemy but there's so many here guys and we're going to calculate i've got only the golden scarab on to see exactly how much i get per run i took off all my armor to make myself move quicker and that's that so you stand here guys and just fire and what this will do is it will take out his ads you run forward and spam again now some of the odd ones in the distance will wake up but by the time you shot your sword at them they'll be dead simple as that from here guys run forward Boom! Now this does require the Elden Beast's Relic Sword. The, probably the most legendary sword in regards to earning those runes. 
So it requires that, and you get that for beating the main games, uh, well, the base games, last boss, which ain't too difficult, to be honest, guys. But yeah, if you got this, you can take advantage of this. Now, other weapons may work. The thing is, it ain't going to be anywhere near as quick. I mean, there's, there's uh, weapons in this game which give you a decent air of effect. Uh, well, move. But this is... So you get 71,000 per run. And I ain't even doing it fast. So you then quickly, guys, just run back to the grace and rinse and repeat. It really is that simple. Now, there's probably spells in the game as well that can make you uh, do this with efficiency. Can't think of any off the top of my head, I won't lie to you. But here again, jump off your horse, stand here, spam, run forward, spam, run forward, spam, run forward. Come to your uh, left hand side because you want to get those there because otherwise they wake up and they shoot your ass from behind which you don't want. Then guys you come to your left, stand about here, shoot, run forward, stand here, shoot again, run forward and then shoot again. Simple as that people. And there you have it. Easily the best uh, rune farm inside of the DLC Shadow Realm area. Uh, but other than that, guys, there's only two more we need to check out. And they take part in none other than the Mogwin Dynasty area. Now, you need to come to the Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum to enter the DLC. So you've got no excuse in not being able to do this. So you want to come to... This point right here guys now when you first get here there's multiple ways of getting here guys if you just search how to get to the Mogwin dynasty uh mausoleum or area there's about a hundred thousand guides on it but you want to come to the palace palace sorry approach ledge road that's where you want to come to so there's multiple graces but this is the one you want to get to now i'm explaining this like i know people ain't seen it but i know it more or less every single body everybody's seen this so we first have guys the bird right there all you need to do for this is a bow and arrow. That's all you need. And what you do, guys, is you come from the grace, you, aim, you stand on this rock. As soon as that bird starts walking back, you aim and shoot that arrow. It goes through the branches. The bird runs off the ledge. You then quickly just run, sit back down at the grace, rinse and repeat that over and over and over again. And what you get like 13, between 13 and 15k per run, something like this. So, yeah, it's a great, great farm. You can do it quite efficiently. The next one, which is the best in the entire game, is from the same grace, the Palace Approach Ledge Road. But it takes place, guys, on this hill. Again, using the Sacred Relic Sword. This works absolute wonder. So you just run here and just aim and shoot. Simple as that. Run back to the grace. Sit back down. Get back up. Sacred Relic Sword in hand. Run to the edge of the hill. Spam it again. Simple as that, people. This is by far the best room farm in the game. It still exists. It, you can see the ghost of the image there doing it. Still exists, still works, absolute wonders, and will level you up super, super quickly. Simple as that, people. Now, there are other weapons that will work great doing this. Um, let's quickly check out a couple. For instance, the Star Scourge Greatsword works great doing this. This one, just equip it. Uh, you run standing, it ain't as quick as a relic sword. Stand amongst a few of them. I'll actually put the weapon on first. Press your uh, unique attack. Press it twice. Takes them all out. Again, run in between them all. Try and avoid them. I mean, it ain't quite as good as a relic sword. It takes a bit more effort on your behalf. As simple as that. Just run back. Run back to the grace. Now, there are a couple of other swords and weapons you can use. We'll check out a couple more now. This weapon right here, guys, Morgan's Sacred Spear, which you get for defeating the main boss of this area, Morg, who you have to defeat to get into the DLC anyway. This weapon's quite good too. It's a bit like that last one we checked out, where it's got a great area effect with it, so you just stand amongst them. Probably better than the last one, honest, honestly. It takes barely any work, and you earn a ton of runes in doing this. Like I said, it ain't as good as the Sacred Relic, so that's by far the best to do this. 
and then guys just simply just run back to that grace. If you've taken out the enemies, you simply just fast travel back to the grace. Simple as that guys. Another great weapon to do this with is the Blasphemous Blade. Uh, this one as well guys, got a great little air effect thing with it where actually you can stand at the top here and shoot it down both sides. So yeah, it's a great, great weapon. You've probably seen many a build on this thing. And then just aim at this side. And rinse and repeat, guys. It really is. You ain't going to get all the enemies with this, but you're still going to earn quite a bit of runes in doing this. So yeah, it's just, just different options, people. Just different options. But there we have it, guys. Those are the four best rune farms in this entire game without question. Unless something new is found, this one right here is going to be the best in the game. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next.